Has one historic month of baseball from a future Hall of Famer forever changed the course of National League history? One of the most impressive offensive seasons in human history is entering its last few weeks of regular season play. One of a kind season so good that there's a new club that was made just for it. In spite of the first 30 homer 60 stolen base season ever and the millions who believe the MVP award is a lock because of it, it's time we give credit to the only player who somehow held on and kept this from turning into a blowout race. This August, Mookie Betts had one of the greatest months at the plate on planet Earth. One only rivaled by the likes of Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig put him right back in the running for National League MVP and changed the entire season for one of baseball's best teams. But first, a shout out to the only good chop you'll see in today's video, Good Chop. We really don't talk about food quality enough. Quality is one of the last things considered in most American foods right now, and we need to start being more conscious about the food we eat. Good Chop's mission is to provide you with a one-of-a-kind, high-quality online butcher that you can trust. Their pledge is to bring you high-quality meat and seafood options from domestic family farms and fisheries, raised responsibly without antibiotics or added hormones. Good Chop offers convenient, contact-free delivery right to your front door, cutting out all of that time that you could spend at the store, or spend doing the things you really love. You can order fully customizable boxes with choices that include chicken breasts, shrimp, 100% grass-fed filet mignon, pork, and many more meat and seafood options. You can go to goodshop.com YouTube and use code SRS120 or click the link in the description below to get $120 off across your first four boxes today. I have a pretty high standard for my favorite meal, chicken and shrimp, so I was pretty surprised that I enjoyed this as much as I did. It tastes really, really good. I can't believe I started making YouTube videos in my room one day, and now I'm talking to people on the internet about meat. Good Shop is so confident in their product that they offer a 100% money-back guarantee if you aren't completely satisfied. But I already know that if your taste buds work, you won't need to worry about that. Again, that's goodshop.com YouTube and code SRS120 for $120 off across your first four boxes. A huge thank you to Good Shop for sponsoring today's video. Webster's Dictionary defines Mookie Betts as the guy who's been absolutely tearing the cover off of every ball thrown at him. In his seventh consecutive All-Star season, Betts leads all exclusively position players in war. He has an OPS 71% better than league average, his 600 slugging percentage is second in the National League, second only to a guy who might end up having a top 10 homer season in baseball history. In 144 plate appearances this year, he's hitting 381 with runners in scoring position, and a whopping 524 with runners on third and less than two outs. Oh, and he's had about 20% as many hits this season as every single New York Yankee. A year following his MVP win in 2018, the Red Sox traded Mookie Betts to the Dodgers. He finished MVP runner-up in his first season in 2020, second only to future teammate Freddie Freeman. But neither in 2020 nor in the following two seasons did Betts put up numbers anywhere close to those from his MVP campaign. And that continued early on this season too. Through the first two months of the season, Mookie Betts was hitting only 252 weighed down by a pretty tough April where he hit to a 781 OPS and almost a strikeout per game. Now his season wasn't as bad as a 252 clip at that point, but those aren't the kind of stats that get this video made. Nor are they the kind of stats that get his name in the MVP combo. Especially with Ronald Acuna just 9 homers shy of the 2020 club on June 1st. Things did shift for bets, and like your average pie from Bikini Bottom or Family Bathroom on Mexican Night, Mookie Betts' 2023 season completely blew up. After a slow start, Betts' stock skyrocketed, ending May and starting June with two straight two homer games. He carried that momentum into Hot Boy Summer where he had an OPS over one in both June and July. And one month later came one of the greatest offensive months in history. August 2023, Mookie's Monster Month. The Mookie Monster hit safely in nearly half of his August at-bats, hitting 455 with 10 doubles, 11 homers, 30 RBI, and slugging 839. That's good for a 265 WRC+. These are around the kind of numbers that Barry Bonds put up for a few months in his 73 homer 2001 campaign. Betts joined Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig as the only players ever to have 50 hits, 10 homers, and hit at least 450 in one month. Betts also set the monthly Dodgers franchise record for hits and runs scored. He led all qualified Major League hitters in just about every offensive category and led his team to a ridiculous August, completely changing the landscape of the National League. Only two and a half games separated the Dodgers and Diamondbacks on the 1st of August, and by September 1st, that lead was up to 13 and a half games. You better believe that the Dodgers don't go 24 and 5 without those 170 pounds of pure man in Dodger blue. And it was Mookie Betts and his historic performance last month that helped give the Dodgers their runaway lead in the division that you'll see today. 
Betts led all Dodgers hitters in just about everything last month, and even generated twice as much war as second place teammate Freddie Freeman, who's having the best season of his Hall of Fame career in his own right. Even still, Mookie Betts is clearly the most valuable player on this already stacked Dodgers team. But how does that translate to the NL at large? Ronald Acuna Jr. has been the clear frontrunner for National League MVP since the first month of the season. The season he's having is absolutely absurd and truly one for the ages. So has Betts' August really had enough of an impact to shift this race? Oh Here's a look at the numbers on how Mookie Betts and Ronald Acuna Jr. matched up at the beginning and end of August. Mookie Betts generated more F4 in the month of August alone than Nolan Arenado, Manny Machado, Trey Turner, Rafael Devers, and Pete Alonso have generated to date. All season. Betts is still to this day the NL leader in wins above replacement as of September 14th, second in all of baseball right behind Shohei Otani. And don't forget about the value that Mookie Betts, a six-time Gold Glove outfielder playing there almost exclusively for the first decade of his career, has brought to this Dodgers club this year just by playing the infield for a third of the season, putting his own position aside to better the team at large. Ronald Acuna Jr. is going to finish this season with at least 40 homers and 70 stolen bases. Larger bases aside, no one's ever come close to a season quite like this. The fact that this race is debated at all says way more about the kind of year that Mookie Betts is having than it does Acuna, I think. Where Mookie Betts performs, the Dodgers follow. Betts helped his club to a ridiculous 24-5 August run and a runaway lead in the division, tacking on an extra 11 games in the standings. Talk about valuable. Now the Braves still win the NL East by a landslide without Ronald Acuna. And Acuna shouldn't have points detracted because he's on a great team, nor due to the failures of the rest of the NL East. But regardless of your interpretation of this award's meaning, that's got to play at least one small role in this conversation. As fate would have it, headlining the last day of August was the series opener between the Braves and Dodgers, a potential preview of the League Championship Series this year. Betts vs. Acuna, Freeman vs. his replacement, and potential key witness on the Braves cheating scandal trial 10 years from now. Betts and Acuna both leading off, both playing ridiculously good baseball on the final day of August in a game that was poetically symbolic of both their individual seasons and their seasons in relation to one another. Acuna went 3 for 4 with a walk, homer, and stolen base, a small showcase of his unmatched power speed, and Betts went 2 for 4 with a walk and two homers, showcasing his ability to get on base and slug for power. They both drove in 4 runs on the day. Acuna got off to the quick start, homering in the second, Betts homering later in both the 5th and 7th. But too little too late for Betts and the Dodgers in an 8-7 nail-biting loss in Atlanta's favor, which could very well turn out to be a little bit of a foreshadowing for this MVP race. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Just a quick aside here for a second, for at least the third time in the last year, the centerpiece of one of my videos gets hurt in the middle of production. Betts had an injury scare after he fouled the ball off his foot in a September 7th game in Miami. He missed most of the Washington series, but thankfully he's back in action now. But if there is anyone on your favorite team's rival that you'd like to see me make a video on in the future, drop a comment below. It looks like 2018 Mookie Betts is finally back. This past offseason, Betts bulked up 10 plus pounds at the recommendation of a data-driven baseball mechanics company called Driveline. He also worked on improving his bat speed. Dodgers hitting coach Robert Van Skoyok, I know I probably butchered that, I'm really, really sorry. He also had Betts take part in a bat speed program that has players swinging bats with each bat's weight being distributed differently. Some bats with more weight in the handle, some with more weight in the barrel. The training really paid off this season, with Betts barreling at a higher rate than he's had since that MVP season five years ago, and his power numbers looking as good as they ever have. Betts has hit 39 homers at the time of this recording, fifth most in baseball, and that includes 12 from the leadoff spot, which is more than any other player in MLB history. Mookie Betts is an Aaron Judge. And in all seriousness, putting up these kinds of power numbers as a 5'9", 170-pound athlete should really be admired. Let's also give one more shout-out to hitting coach Robert Van Skoyuk for helping Mookie, of course, and for his work as a miracle worker. If you can save Jason Hayward at 34, you deserve a plaque in Cooperstown. Mookie Betts has always been one of baseball's most interesting players. He's an incredible athlete in both baseball and beyond, a dedicated philanthropist, an avid anime fan, and even an active member of the baseball YouTube scene. I'll link his channel down in the description, go check him out as soon as you can. It's crazy to think that in like 20 years there's going to be a YouTuber in the Baseball Hall of Fame, 
That's kind of just crazy to think about. Look, it's going to be damn near impossible for any voter to look past a 40-70 season, but for the rest of this season, let's at least make sure that we all give Mookie Betts all of the credit he deserves for still being in this race, going against practically 1993 NL MVP Barry Bonds with double the amount of stolen bases. Betts has been one of baseball's most special talents for years, and there are few players more deserving of our recognition and admiration. In the era of Otani, Judge, Trout, and Acuna, the fact that an MVP caliber season could go as under the radar as that of 2023 Mookie Betts just goes to show how much generational talent we have in the game right now, and more importantly, how unbelievably lucky that we are able to witness it.